Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my budget bride wedding series. So I'm Random Sparkle, if you guys are clicking onto one of my videos for the first time, and today I'm going to be doing my wedding binder review. So why I wanted to do this for you guys is because when I actually looked for my wedding binder, I couldn't find any reviews. Um, so it was a little frustrating because I didn't know exactly what I was going to get inside of it. So I figured I might as well review mine for you guys and kind of show you guys what's in here. Just get right into it. I did get my binder off of Amazon. I will put a picture over here of what it actually looked like when I first bought it. This is actually a really huge detailed wedding planner um, and I didn't realize beforehand because there's not pictures of the inside and it has a pretty brief description on Amazon. I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. This um, cover actually comes off. On the website I couldn't tell but this is actually just paper so yeah, this comes right off. It has a ton of information. Um, this also says that it's written by Mindy West, who apparently is a renowned wedding planner. So she's pretty big in the wedding industry. This is what it looks like after you actually get the paper off of it and everything. It's just this light blue with polka dots on it, which I think is pretty neutral and cute. And then on the back here, as you can see, it says our wedding. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Go ahead and open it up. There is a place to write your name. Technically, there's two lines, so you could write your fiance's name if you want to. So first, here's a congratulations page, kind of congratulating you on your engagement. Then it has an overview, and then it gets right into the big day tab. There's a really cute illustration, and the theme for each one of these tabs is you first open it up, there's gonna be a picture and a little overview, and then there'll be a pocketed tab. So this is our dream wedding. This is a place for you to write how you want your wedding to go. I did talk to my fiance first, and then we kind of came up with this together. This is the place to write all of your wedding contacts, everything from your wedding officiant, to your ceremony vendors, to your rental company, to your hairstylist. So the thing with this is I do feel like it's a little repetitive because as we go through this book more, you'll see that there's another spot to write all of these people's contacts in their individual tabs that correlates to them, if that makes sense. So this is a little extra. And as you can see, I haven't really filled it all out just because it is time consuming. Um, and they want everything, including the name, address, phone, email, mobile number, fax. So it just has a lot of information for you to fill out for all these people multiple times. But if you want to do that, it is cool that you have a spot to kind of reference back. Further you get into here, here's the week by week planner. So it does start out month by month, the long and short engagement, and then goes down to um, all the way to eight weeks. And then from eight weeks all the way down to wedding day. Um, and then for the short engagement, it starts at four, five, six months, and then kind of goes all the way down from there all the way to weeks and then you do have a day of the wedding planner and this even includes the order that the bridesmaids and the mother of the bride and all that should get their makeup done just to make sure that you're getting it done in a timely manner um, and this is really cool because it just kind of gives you an overview of how your day is going to go and kind of gives you a better perspective. And this is the emergency kit. So this is a list for the groom to have an emergency kit and an emergency kit for the bride, which I think is really cute. Um, I did get this six months into my wedding planning and I wish I would have got it right when I got engaged because there's so much in here that I have already like printed stuff like this off of Pinterest. So yeah, this would have saved me time to have had this right at the beginning. And then at the end of every tab, there is going to be a spot to write some notes. Um, and then the next one is a budget. So here's the overview for this one and the tab. And then this spreadsheet is awesome. So this is another one of those things that since I got this so late into my engagement, I had already wrote up a budget, but this is so detailed. It's literally like five pages of budgeting. Um, I was able to go back through here and I had missed stuff. As you can see, I have filled this all out and I think it's just so cool. And they also have a spot for you to budget your honeymoon as well as just random miscellaneous stuff. Here is the section about tips on tipping, who you should be tipping and how much. So bartender, caterer, chefs, all of that information there. And then it gets into location, location, location. There's another one of those tabs in the overview. These pictures are always so cute. And then this is another one of those things. This is all the pros and cons to the different settings of weddings. So you have here a hotel wedding, the pros and cons, a restaurant wedding, an outdoor wedding. So you can see how awesome that is. I'm having an outdoor wedding and 
I did already write up myself a pros and cons list. So this is another one of those things that would have been really useful to have at the beginning of my engagement. And then this is questions and answers sheet. So these are all the questions you can ask your ceremony site. And there's two locations that you can kind of write their answers. So you can write down what, how they answered you. This is a spot to write their name, their address, their contact info. So you can do that for two locations. So next they have the same questions for your reception site and two places to write your answers. And then they have the same thing for if you're doing a destination wedding, two places to write down the answers. What I think is also really cool is they have this um, little cheat sheet on what you're supposed to do the first time you visit your destination location and the second time you visit your destination location. Then guest invitations. All right, we've got all these tabs to go through. Sorry guys if this is long-winded. This is what that picture looks like. So this has a place for you to write down all of your guests. It's very detailed. This is another one of those things where they want your name, your street address, city telephone, shower gift, email. So they want all of these things for every single person that you're inviting. I feel like that's a little too much for me since I'm having a close to home wedding where I kind of know all this information already. Um, but if you need that or you're having a destination wedding where you need to be able to reference back, that's really cool that you have a spot to put all that. And then next is honored guests. So if you have people that you want to be really involved in your wedding but they're not in the bridal party, these are just some suggestions of things that they can do. And then this is the invitation cheat sheet, do's and don'ts. And then it also just has the different ways to kind of write out your invitation depending on if your parents are paying for it or if you're paying for it. This is just everything that goes inside a wedding invitation. So this is the registry rundown. This is another one of those things that are pretty detailed, but I think it's really cool that it kind of gives you an overview of everything that you would want to put in your registry. I do have an online one, but as you can see, it's just page after page of everything you'd want to put in there. Like I said, I have an online one, so I'm not really using this page after page after page. So if you want to fill that in, you can. There's a place to write a description of what you want, what store you want it from. And then there's a little checklist to mark if you actually got it or not. And then the dress. So this is another one of those things that would have been so useful if I got it right when I got engaged. I did get my dress from DH Gate um, from China. It was about $270. If you guys want to check that out, I will put it linked down below in the description box. Um, but yeah, this is an awesome tab. That's the dress and what everyone else wears. Here's this. That was all the different silhouettes of dresses here. Kind of gives you an overview of all the different places you can get your dress from. And then here is a spot for you to print out a picture of what dress you want. Then you can write what designer made it, what price, what store to get it from, the contacts, and any notes. So you got lots of pages for inspiration dresses, got a checklist for your dressmaker, and then it just starts talking about the shoes, what type of shoes you want to wear at what venue. Um, kind of goes over accessories and then gets into bridesmaids dresses. Here's another one of those detailed sheets. So here you can write the measurements of your bride, the deposit you put down on it, any alterations, the delivery date, the style, size, color, and fabric. So you can do that for all your bridesmaids. It also has a place to do that for your flower girl and at the tuck shop. So here's some advice if he's buying his tux or if he's renting it. And then this is all the questions to make your ask your makeup artist. You have two places to write answers for two different makeup artists as well as your hairstylist and you have notes and then it gets into the menus and the flowers it's kind of the overview another little cute picture and then it has the pros and cons to a sit down pros and cons to a buffet dinner um, and then it kind of goes over the questions that you can ask your caterer once again it has two different places that you can put their answers um, just some more overview over the cake. Um, two places to ask questions for the cake maker. Kind of a checklist for the cake maker as well. And then this is stocking the perfect bar. So I think this is so cool. This shows you everything you need to put in your bar, all the supplies you need for your bar. This page is all stems on deck. So as you can see, I've already kind of filled out this page. But this is all of the flowers that you're going to need. There was some things that I saw on here that I had a checklist off Pinterest that they didn't include. Um, so there was like flower petals that I want to go on the floor. Centerpieces were on here. So some things aren't included on this flowers list. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you read through it really carefully. And if it's missing something, don't forget to write it in. And then these are questions to ask your florist. Two different spots to write all of them. To music photography and videography it just has everything to ask your photographer two places to write it um 
and then it just talks about pictures a little bit more the shot list all of the picture shots you don't want your photographer to miss and it even has some blank spots for you to fill in if there's something that is not on this list the questions to ask your videographer here's an overview and just kind of a checklist for them and so everything to ask your dj in two spots to write all that stuff and then the last page in here just kind of gives you an overview of when to play the music and what kind of music you want to play the next one is the rentals that's what this tab looks like and then it gets into the questions you want to ask your rental company two spots to write them this is probably the coolest part of this whole tab this is a table chart so as you can see it has the inches of tables and either if it's a cake display or how many people can fit at that table next is the rental inventory so everything you would want to rent i'm kind of using this as my amazon checklist because all the smaller stuff that i would normally be renting i'm just gonna buy off amazon like my napkins my plates my forks all of that stuff then here's finding transportation as well as renting a tent so the different questions you should ask them it just gets into vehicle occupation seats what's really cool about this is that this just shows you how many people fit in each type of car so making it official woo woo, the last tab that's what this one looks like all of the questions that you should ask your officiant two spots to write them Okay, so this is the wedding ring crib sheet. This just kind of talks about the different metals you can get for your wedding rings. And then also goes into talk about your marriage license. Then this last page just has a little happily ever after note from the author of the book. Has one more page to write notes. And then it has this keepsake plastic zippered pouch back here that you can kind of use to put keepsakes in, which I think is really cute. All right guys, that does it for this wedding binder review. Let me know if you guys like this binder or if you guys got a different one that you actually like better. Um, I will put the link for this binder linked down below. If you guys enjoy wedding series, don't forget to give a huge thumbs up. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. And if you guys want to stay in the know for when I post my new budget bride wedding videos, you can always click on that bell button next to the subscribe button and I'll keep you guys updated for whenever I post my new videos. All right, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.